Francine continues to batter New Orleans. I'm Mike Naso with the latest on Tropical Storm Francine. Made landfall earlier on Wednesday evening as a Category 2 hurricane very near the area of Morgan City, Louisiana. It's crossed southeast Louisiana as a hurricane, now a strong tropical storm moving towards the northeast very quickly, causing a lot of problems in Louisiana. Here is the latest on Tropical Storm Francine. As of 11 p.m. Eastern Time and 10 p.m. Central Time from the National Hurricane Center, Francine was at 30.2 north, 90.6 west. Winds are 70 miles per hour, so it's just below hurricane strength, weakening as it moves inland. It's moving northeast at 16 miles per hour, and that continues to drag all of these very strong, gusty winds across areas of Louisiana into Mississippi. And we do have a tropical storm warning from the mid-Louisiana coast all the way over to areas there of the Alabama-Florida border because you guys are going to get in on tropical storm conditions. As Francine moves northeast, it should weaken to a depression tomorrow and then eventually dissipate here somewhere near the area of northern Mississippi, near Arkansas and Tennessee. Now here's the latest radar image, and this is out of New Orleans, and I'm going to zoom in here to show you the actual center of the tropical storm is right over in this area, very, very near Lake Maurepas and uh, Lake Pontchartrain in this region here, and there is a band of very, very heavy weather. We've had hurricane force wind gusts in downtown New Orleans. That's now spread northeastward over the lake, Lake Pontchartrain, and it should continue to spread to the northeast as time goes on. If we put this back a few hours, you can see as the eye moved ashore there, very near Morgan City, areas like Duloc and Homa got hit very roughly by very gusty winds and heavy rainfall. And then the system has kind of been weaker on the other side, but this northeast side continues to pack a punch as the system pushes past the New Orleans area. So again, right now, if you are in areas of Mandeville, Covington, and even uh, Bay St. Louis into Mississippi, you guys are in for some rough weather as the center of the now tropical storm Francine moves to the northeast. Nevertheless, quite a smack for Louisiana from this Category 2 hurricane. Waters have been high. There's been reports of flooding in New Orleans and areas uh, surrounding. Obviously, heavier flooding near the coastline. Still surge here uh, from Burns Point to Port Fouchon, and then from uh, Port Fouchon all the way over to the Alabama-Florida border. You guys will have water rises once we get the system up and out and those winds subside. But as long as you have an onshore fetch, you could see high water rises. Rainfall is going to be a continued threat. We'll watch this. It's looking like mostly two to four inches, maybe some isolated higher amounts in that area I showed you northeast of New Orleans. Nevertheless, that will spread into areas of Memphis and the uh, Tennessee Valley, and that does increase the risk of flooding. The highest risk where it's already occurring here in Louisiana and areas of western Mississippi as the storm pushes on through, but there is still a slight risk all the way up towards the Tennessee Valley. Here's the radar, and again, as it interacts with that trough that picked it up, you're seeing more rain fall out ahead of it. So it's a wet night in the Gulf area, the Gulf Coast, but the heaviest weather, again, is now pushing out of New Orleans. Hopefully this backside is weaker. It looks weaker, and so the wind should subside, and we won't have to deal with it. We've had a lot of outages and a lot of street flooding and a lot of issues with this hurricane as it made landfall and cut across southeast Louisiana. Now, uh, the severe weather is a threat. As the system pulls through, we could see tornadoes. We have tornado watch boxes up, and that extends in four different states, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida in the panhandle. So a very dangerous, severe weather night, as we have any time we have a landfalling hurricane, you run the risk of severe weather. I did want to mention we have a new tropical depression way out there uh, near the Cape Verde Island area. This is Tropical Depression 7. As of 11 p.m., it's at 16.5 north, 31.3 west. Winds are 35 miles per hour, and it's chugging along west-northwest at 17. It should become a tropical storm and then eventually move west-northwest and not become a hurricane. It should remain one of those mid-range tropical storms over the next five days. And whether it takes the uh, right edge of this track or the left edge of this track, it's so far from land, I have doubts that it will ever get near any land masses. 
maybe Bermuda and the Azores someday might have to watch it. But as far as the islands are concerned, I think you guys are good. There's a good indication that this system is going to eventually turn. If it even becomes anything more than a moderate tropical storm, we will let you know. There's the satellite, and again, it finally is showing some shape, but it does have that northwesterly component to its track. And if they're moving west-northwest or northwest this far out, the likelihood they ever get further west to land is very, very slim. A very large wave here about to leave Africa. We'll see if this does anything. Again, like I said a few days ago, we've seen a lot of uh, the monsoon troughiness and a lot of waves exiting further north in cooler waters, and that's why we had such a quiet August. But as quiet as the hurricane season's been, not quiet enough to have the United States get hit by three hurricanes. We had Beryl, Debbie, and now Francine. So we had two Category 1s and a Category 2 slam into the United States so far, and that's a pretty ghastly, ghostly-looking appearance on satellite, but a lot of heavy weather here along the Gulf Coast with the landfall of Francine, a Category 2 hurricane for Louisiana. So we'll watch the rest of the tropics. I'm Mike Naso. Stay tuned as Francine weakens and pushes inland. Heavy weather for the Gulf Coast throughout the night.